Greetings Fallout 4 Wastelanders. Mr. Tavox 1701 here and I'm here to show you five accessories that you can add to your settlements. The produce bin. These produce bins will go well at the Sun Sunshine T Tidings Co-op. You put your produce in there and look pretty cool. I'm going to start out with a small wooden floor. We're going to go to furniture and get the first coffee table that pops up. Place it on the small floor. Now I did this once before, the produce bin is a standalone video, but I thought I'd add it here just for clarity to consolidate several of them together. Straighten this out a little bit. Then all we have to do is add some railings around the sides. And that one won't quite go on there, but that's okay. We'll go over here and just move these tables over a little bit. You can see that there are some cracks there between the tables. It doesn't have to be perfectly filled. It doesn't matter. When you put the produce in there, the produce is larger than the cracks, so it won't fall through. Of course, the purpose of the tables is so that you don't have, as, have to put as much produce in there. Put a little sale sign on here. And you've got a cute little produce bin. Now be sure that uh, when you go to fill this up, the stuff won't fall through. You can put anything in there. I've got carrots over there on the side there. There's over 80 something carrots and it took quite a while to put in there. When you go to move this, it, the rug glitch, the second rug glitch doesn't work. You need to do the hold down rug glitch to do this. Move it to where you want. Just make sure that wherever you move it, that's where it's going. Because if you try to move it again, it may pick up everything that's around it. So just make sure that you put it exactly where you want it. Or build it in place would be even better. You can see I've got carrots in that one. I've got a bunch of melons stacked in this one. And it looks pretty neat. It would look good at the Sunshine Siding Co-ops. Or wherever it is that you have a big produce area. Now if I try to move this again, if you try to pick it up by holding the A button down on the Xbox, if you try to do that, yeah, see, dog meat doesn't like it. It doesn't work and it doesn't take the produce with it. So you need to either build it in place or once you build it, put it where you need to. The fire barrel. Let's build a fire barrel similar to those that you see at the Super Mutant hideouts. We have here a regular steel barrel. These are all around the wasteland. You can pick these up and carry them over to wherever it is that you need them. You can bring them to your settlement and you can scrap them. You can move them around. We're going to place in there the fire barrel that we get from our menu. We're going to place it inside here using the rug glitch. Move it in there so we can't see the grating of the of that fire barrel. And it fits in there nicely, looks great. But you go around the back side and you can see it's sticking out the back. It doesn't fit in there perfectly. So you might want to build this in a corner somewhere where you won't see the back side of it. The only problem with this is that when you get near it, this stuff starts to happen. Crazy stuff happens. So it might be that it'd be best to not approach it, go away. Take away the rug and that thing slips down. Might be best to go away, fast travel away, come back and maybe it'll stabilize. I don't know. I did not test that. This may not work at all. Anyway, just try something, play with it, see if it works for you. The fire barrel. How about a fire in the fireplace? We have these fireplaces in Sanctuary. We have them in the Sunshine Siding Co-op, Sunshine Tidings Co-op cabins and it would be nice to put a fire in them nice and cozy put down a rug have you noticed that a lot of our builds start with rugs 
somehow, some way, there's a rug involved. I'm going to put down a campfire. And I stacked four of them. I spammed the button up to four. And these move very nicely and glitch nicely very well in. Put that in there. You can see that the rug is interfering with the back wall there. And it looks cool. Looks great. You walk in the room, you got a nice cozy campfire in the background. But you got all these sticks and stuff sticking out. So let's see if we can take care of that. Take away the rug. And you can see that that couple things move around a little bit and decide which one you like the best. There's one on the bottom there, practically in the ground. And since I've taken away my display, it's hard to see where, like there it is, try to highlight this and take away that bottom one, the very bottom one. Take away this one, it's probably, and it fell down a little bit. And take a look at that. I could take away that fourth one. Uh, I'm only going to leave that there. It's, I don't want to take any chance. It looks pretty good. Now I know the rocks are sticking out. For you purists, they might not like that. Maybe you could glitch in a small table in front there or something. But for me, I'm happy with that. I can live with that. Looks good. Go to the back of your house. You come out in the living room. You have a very nice, warm and inviting fire in your fireplace. The fire in the fireplace. You could do this in the cabins. It looks great. I'm going to warm myself by the fire here. Pardon me. The candle torch. Now my son gave me this idea. He mentioned he was trying to do something with he thought these were torch stands instead of cigarette ashtrays. And he gave me the idea. I said, well, let me see if we can put a candle in this. So I've got the ashtray with a rug next to it. And I'm going to pull out a table here. It's that first oval looking one. And it's just the right height. That kitchen table there. Go over here to the decorations and get the candle. Stick it on the table. Get close to it because you need to see the edge of it here. I want to put it I want to put it so that that middle bulge there in the middle there is right on the edge of the table. Doesn't really matter too much. It just helps to put it there. Now we're going to pick up the ashtray with the rug again put it right underneath this candle and we want to line it up so that those wax meltings those things that flatten out we don't want those sticking out through the walls of the sides of the ashtray and they will because it is conical as you go down it gets thinner so you want to make it so that it doesn't stick out and it will in some places, so you, you'll want to place this so it's up against the wall or something so you can't see one side of it. Or just try again. If you get it just right, it'll work. So I'm trying to line this up here. I've done this a few times, so I have a pretty good idea where it should go. And then take away the table when the candle falls into the ashtray. And it's great. And you pick up the rug and it'll carry the whole thing to wherever you want to go. Put it wherever you want it. Now I've tried this. If you take away the rug, you could move it one more time. You could leave it there. I would fast travel away if you want the bottom piece standing on the ground. Fast travel away, come back, remove the carpet, and it'll work. Let's see what happens when you take away the carpet now, though. If you take away the carpet now, This happens, and maybe you like that effect. I don't know. You might like that. But if you move it somewhere and then and then take away the carpet after you come back, you can move it. You will move it one more time. Finally, we have a barbecue grill, a different barbecue grill. 
Now this is using the fish rack from the new Far Harbor workshop mode. And this is the double one. You can use the single one. I'm using the double one here. The single one works just as well. We're going to do the stacking the campfire trick again. I stacked five of them on top of two rugs. I'm going to rug glitch this underneath the fish rack. And I'm looking for those two legs. I'm looking for them to go fit right in the notches in between those rocks there is just about the right spot for these things. Now notice the campfire sticks up a little bit. If we take away the rug, the whole thing falls down a bit. The top one's still a little higher. We're going to remove that one. So when you go to do this, remove the ones that give you the height that you want. I like to have the fire below the grill, of course. I don't want any sticks coming up above the grill. That looks pretty good. I'm going to put in another one here. Go back to the campfire. Stack five of them up. And I didn't leave myself enough room here, so let's go back over here. Get rid of that, try again. Glitch this in here. Again, the two legs right in, the, in those slots where those rocks are works pretty well. On the right and the left there. That looks pretty pretty good. Take away that carpet, falls a little bit, it moves. Take away the ones that you don't want, the top one should go. Now notice there are some on the bottom, on the very bottom there. You could leave them there, it doesn't matter. You could, it'll help with the brightness, you could take them away. You can see that there is one on the bottom and it's in the ground, but it doesn't matter. I know, it's floating. It doesn't matter. We're going to fix that. We're going to use this small cabinet, metal cabinet, with the drawer facing out. Put this on one side, and you can see that the rocks glitch into it a little bit. Don't take the mats away. Leave them. I'll show you later what happens when you take the mats away. This one on here, the double cabinet. I really like that cabinet, by the way. I've used this a lot in places. As you can see, what we're trying to do is make sort of a countertop area here. That looks pretty good. Pretty good for demo purposes. We're going to put one more in here, and I'm going to use the third cabinet that looks like these. If you use the single fish rack. You can use two of those smaller cabinets there on either side and the longer one in between, but since I've got this one I have to use this lo slightly longer cabinet. We're going to move this into place. And probably close enough for our demo purposes here. Notice I built it up against the brick wall and we have a neat little barbecue grill with some countertops around it. I think that looks pretty sharp. Fast travel away, come back, remove the carpets, and it should stay in place. Always say before you do it, let's see what happens when you take the carpets away. Now that one fell down a little bit. It fell down. When I did this once before, they came up and I didn't like it. But these falling down like this, a little bit lower, that's not bad. That's kind of cool looking. So try it, play with it, always say before you take the carpets away, you can always go back to your previous save. Neat little barbecue grill. It's a little bit of a follow-up to the other one that I built in a previous video. And I'll put the link below. So another barbecue grill that I built using concrete and the metal floors. And a bunch of fire underneath there. I've got some stuff roasting on the fire. And you can check out that video. The link will be below in the comment section. Until next time, Mr. Fox, 1701. Thanks a lot.